Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have no makeup on my face. My face looks destroyed right now because today we're doing a full face of first impressions. That's right. We're going to be doing some, we're going to be using some of the products that I recently hauled. I have mostly everything. The only thing I don't have is a primer, but we're going to be tr testing everything out together on camera. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what's going on today. If you like full faces of first impressions, make sure to give me a big old fat thumbs up and let's get started. Okay, so I didn't buy a primer, but I did go back and buy a moisturizer. This is the e.l.f. Daily Hydration Moisturizer. Um, I literally just bought this today, so I thought I would try it on. My face is super clean right now. Um, so let's try this baby on. I haven't opened it. It has a pump, which is kind of exciting. It cost $8, um, and it says, it's a lightweight, lightly scented moisturizer, helps hydrate and nourish for glowing, healthy looking skin, infused with purified water and skin nourishing jojoba, aloe, vitamin E, and cucumber to help soothe and protect the delicate skin area. Rich in antioxidants, shea butter, grape, and orange. So I'm gonna be trying this on. It doesn't say that it has any SPF in it, which I don't mind because I put on regular sunscreen during the summer anyways. So let's try this on for moisturizer. Hmm. Smells really good. I have normal to dry skin, but it's also very sensitive and um, like I can break out. So we'll see how good, I mean, it feels really nice and hydrating and really soft on the skin. So, this has no paraffins, no sulfates, and no phthalates, phthalates. Um, so that's good if you don't want sulfates and parabens and stuff like that. So my lips are super dry, so we're going to exfoliate and then we'll put on the Moisture Lock Lip Treatment from Milani that I also got in that haul while I do my makeup. And this one is the mint one. I love the mint one. It's so good here's the lip oil slash lip treatment let's put that on i like that it doesn't feel as oily as you would think it feels would feel from just the what they call it okay so this is the number seven lift and luminate foundation and it looks like this little baby right here. I grabbed the shade, um, what shade is this? Warm Beige is the shade that I got. So I'm excited to try it out. I'm gonna be using the NYX Angel Veil Foundation Primer as the primer because I always use this one and I know how it works, so. The only thing about this foundation is that they didn't have that many shades that I saw. So it was kind of depressing, but uh, hopefully this one fits me good. It does have a pump, so let's try it out. I'm gonna try it out with a, with a brush and just see how it works with a brush. I'm gonna pump it out and I'm gonna try it with a brush. Hopefully this fits me. That's like one pump. So let's go ahead and try this baby. I think it actually might fit me. We'll see. So I'm going to try it with my e.l.f. powdered brush because I love the e.l.f. powder brush. Um, let's bring you guys in closer. All right. I think this shade is gonna match me pretty good. This really blends into the skin really nicely. Like it looks like skin. This reminds me a lot of how the Bourjois Healthy Skin Serum looks like on the skin. Like just looks like your second skin is what it looks like. It's really beautiful. My eyebrows aren't even done guys. It's a very, that never happens. I always have my eyebrows done. 
So next let's try the Gotcha Covered um, Waterproof Concealer from NYX. So I got the shade beige. Um, it looks like this. So let's try it out underneath the eyes and see um, how it goes. I'm gonna shake it up just in case. Okay. Then after that, we're definitely doing some brows because my brows look crazy. I'm gonna do a little dot. Look at how like thick that is. Can you tell how thick that is? Pretty dang thick. And really orangey, like. For how thick it is, I thought it would have more coverage, but it's still, it's all good. Okay. So, this is a new buy. This is the RCMA powder. I'm gonna put that underneath the eyes. I did buy a face powder, but I'll put that all over the face to set my face. And I'll just use this right underneath the eyes. So the powder that I got was the L'Oreal True Match powder in N4. I tried this a long time ago and I don't quite remember, but I decided to get neutral color because I thought maybe a neutral color would be yellow enough for me. I felt like the warm colors are too orangey. So we're gonna try it. We're gonna set, it, set our face with it. Um, yeah, it's so tacky. Definitely need to set it. So it'll probably add a little bit of coverage but I'm gonna go ahead and set my face. Wow, it's still super tacky. Okay, let's do some eyebrows. So I grabbed the NYX Micro Brow and Ash Brown because I ran out. So it's not a new one. I've tried it before in the past. Um, Let's do my brows. I didn't really find a new brow pencil I wanted to try. If you guys didn't know, there's a giveaway going on right now all the way to July 1st. Um, I'm giving away a gold titanium hair curler. So if you want to enter, I'll put the giveaway link below, but you need to get on that. And it's totally random picking, so share it. And I saw, you already know, I got a contour palette and illuminating palette. I'm excited to try these and see because the swatches were terrible. So we're gonna try it and see, um, and these are by e.l.f. And we're gonna see if I can contour in bronze and how it all looks. So we're gonna contour with the deepest shade here. It's a cooler shade. Um, I'll go ahead and I'll use this brush right here because it has more of a point to it. And let's give it the best chance it has of being a good contour. I mean, it's definitely more pigmented with a brush than when I swatched it on my hand. I don't, know, I don't know if I like how cool it is. Okay, and then um, let's try to warm up the skin using this shade right here and see if that's just too light for me or if it'll actually warm up my skin. like that warm that warm over the contour makes it like the perfect perfect for me I like it well in the viewfinder I like it we'll see in person how it looks 
It also has a highlighting shade and almost like a neutral shade here, um, like a matte highlighter and like a, I wouldn't say it's shimmery, but it's more glowy. But I'm not gonna use these because I got an illuminating palette. So I wanna try this out. <sighs> it's been a while since I've tried some e.l.f. things out. So here's what that one looks like. Um, so the blush I got was the Milani Powdered Blush in Romantic Rose. It's a very, very neutral blush. Um, let's put that on all over the cheeks and then I'll put the highlighter on on top of that afterwards. Um, this is the brush I'm gonna use and I'm just gonna really just get in there and apply it. This is a really, I thought this would be perfect just for every day, like a neutral blush that isn't gonna draw attention, you know, but it's just gonna look nice on the cheeks. So, there's that. Now let's put that pink shade on. So it's this shade right here. And we're gonna be using the Anastasia A23 brush. It kind of highlights, but it's like super. It's something for every day, that's for sure. I mean, from the viewfinder, it's catching the light. So, I'm not sure, sure how I feel about this. I have to keep trying it out. I'm not so sure. <sighs> For eyes, I got the e.l.f. Prism eyeshadow palette in Naked, and I'm super excited to try this out. Look at that. Beautiful. So, because these are all shimmery, I'm also going to be bringing in the. Um, Hard Candy Matte Pro Palette. Um, but let's do this. I want to try a lot of these eyeshadows. So um, let's see here. Let's put down a nice base. So I'm going to be putting on. I'm going to put on some of this color right here into the crease really quickly and just kind of all over the crease. So I want to get into this peachy shade and put that all over the lid and see how that goes. And then I'll kind of move and get darker, I think. So we'll see. And this is without a primer, so be aware. Really pigmented and gorgeous. I'm gonna go even darker. Actually, we'll skip one. We'll go to this dark bronzy color. Put that in the outer corner. So this is that first shade that's really light and shimmery. This one right here. I don't know, I'm not super impressed. It's nicely pigmented though. Now that I have a neutral eye, let's do a crazy wing. So um, these are pretty new to me. These are the Hua Miali. Hua Miali. Um, I don't know how to pronounce them. Eyeliners. So um, I'm gonna try these out. These are rather new to me black um, so I'm thinking I want to try a red so I'm thinking that let's try this red that way I can do a red lip or something like that so let's look yeah this is like a red color so let's try this out and see how well this one works um, yeah let's try it and see how it ooh, it's super creamy and like like soft I 
it kind of turned out let it dry and see if it's like a waterproof thing or what I'm dealing with that one okay so let's apply some mascara so this is the voluminous lash paradise mascara I've been using it for a little while but it is rather new to my collection so I thought we'd take it out and we would put it on together I love it I'm just gonna tell you, if you haven't tried it, go pick it up and try it. I love it. It's an awesome, probably the best drugstore mascara I have found yet that I like. I mean, I don't have very many lashes and they're not the longest, but these just do wonders for my lashes. So um, yeah, I love the brush. I love everything about it. So I've told you guys I've been binge watching Pretty Little Liars. I'm finally at season seven and I'm dying right now. Well, end of season eight, about to be in season seven. And I'm just like, really? Like this is almost ridiculous. The only thing is this makes my lashes fall. So we're gonna have to recurl them in a little bit. Okay. Guys, I am dying to try these. So this is the gel uh, melted pout gel liquid lipstick from CoverGirl. This one is in the shade 120 Tang Jello. So I'm excited to try this out. I swatched it one time for you guys, but I haven't tried it yet. Um, so yeah, let's try it. I'm super excited. This is the oddest formula. It says it's a gel. It's not, it, it's like drying. I like this. I feel like this is gonna stay on the lips. I really like this so far. This is how the makeup kind of turned out. I actually really like it and it's really fitting to have like red and red because of the shirt I'm wearing. I'm wearing a Wonder Woman shirt. Don't ask me why. I bought it because I we were going to see like Wonder Woman when it first came out and I bought it and I like it. I mean, it's great. I got it at Walmart because it was super cheap, like six bucks for a shirt. Um, why I'm wearing it again, I don't know. I like superheroes. So that's probably why I'm wearing it. So it matches really nice with the red lip um, that I really like. I'm actually really impressed with those, with the gel liquid lipsticks. I, I've seen it a lot in, I've seen those mentioned a lot in anti hauls and I kind of didn't understand and so I went and tried it out and I really like them it feels like a long lasting liquid lipstick like it's not matte but I do feel like it's going to be long lasting it just feels like that like on my lips it's obviously still a lipstick but you know I think it might last long uh but I really like that. I'm impressed with the foundation. It's really kind of smoothed my skin out. Um, I think I'm a little bit too light for it, but I'm gonna go swimming again today. So I'm sure by the end of the summer, I'll be rocking that shade. Um, and the powder is always really good. Uh, I don't know how to feel about the concealer yet. Um, I can still see my under eyes, but it looks good. And the eyeshadows are creasing but I didn't have any eye primer on so I don't know I'll probably let you guys know I am doing a giveaway right now I'm giving away an as of the uh, gold titanium curling wand with three different curling attachments I talked about it last Friday I'll put the link on how to enter down below go enter it's free it's easy and it's an awesome prize and I know that you want it
soon enough if I like them or not but I hope you enjoyed this video if you did give me a big old fat thumbs up also don't forget to hit my little face down there to subscribe and join the bomb beautiful family um, I hope you guys are having a great Friday and I'll talk to you guys next time bye guys <laughs>